Hi there, thank you for joining us. Today we will be drawing the Teen Titans Beast Boy. Now we'll be drawing the generic version, so something that is depicted in the animated shows and something that is, that is partly depicted in the comics, so our own Beast Boy, but which will be more or less accurate. So I'm putting in an oval to start off and there's the shoulders now he has so beast boy like he he's not exactly he's he's more teenager than he is um, uh, adult so what we will do is keep the proportions uh, boyish uh, like young so not exactly like blown up or So I'm doing a perspective sort of thing here. So I have, uh, let's put a bell shape here for now, for the hand. So that's the elbow, foreshortening there on the, on the upper arm, shoulder. Next shoulder is somewhere around here. So chest area somewhere there and torso falling backward bit of the leg showing but that's okay so this is where we are putting in the little magic in terms of a more recent version in the DC rebirth like I've, he's been shown to have so not exactly fully transformed so he has the ability to apparently also transform a particular part of his uh, body and uh, go about his business of cracking skulls so I'm doing an oversized arm there so foreshortening upper arm elbow forearm you could make this larger if you wish just to have fun and big on hand there we will, we will determine right now what we're going to do with this but right here is this most important part and now Beast Boy is somebody who's been shown with many, many different takes uh, through various artists. But one thing that he has maintained is, maintained is the kind of scraggly look, for the most part anyways, the majority of artists have depicted him with this scraggly hair on top and the pointy ears and of course the green skin. So darker green hair, lighter green skin, and it all works out. So I'm putting in the hair as a medium between all of those. There's the pointy ears and fairly narrow chin there. So I'm going to put in some action in the eyebrows and Phone for a second, please. All right, so I'm back here. So I'm doing the eyes, which are actually a mix between the, the animated cartoon version and some of somewhat of the comics version. So giving him that you know that younger look. And there's the nose. So I'm thinking of what to do with the mouth. So I'm going to actually. So to make this more realistic, I think realistic in the sense that the expression has to match the action, I guess. So I'm going to give that little tempered feel right there. So I've put in some, you know, that some curls and lines around the nose so that he's uh, grinding it out kind of thing. And then I'll just go in and give a loosely formed mouth there so that I could show a little bit of the protruding protruding uh, vampiric teeth so in this case animal animalistic teeth and there we I think that we pretty much nailed that and I'm filling it out so that you could see the teeth 
a little better, giving a little bit of uh, not too much there. Again, I have to maintain that youthful look. So I think we succeeded in having a look that is uh, young for the most part. I think it works. Now as for the costume, so I'm going to put in first off like the required uh, collarbone right around here and go with the first uh, uh, delt. Another thing that has been consistent with Beast Boy is that he has been shown to be uh, uh, athletic but uh, on the more uh, scrawny side so scrawny as in that he's not bulky or with you know super or, or like superheroic proportions so I'm actually bringing that hand in here that same bell because I instead of going that way I have decided to bring this on here outside so that's okay we can make changes as we go along and I put in the chest back so some a little bit of muscle there serratus and then the costume one of the versions anyways white stripes here white stripes going along down and the white stripes coming inward here and going here so we have the same practice here pretty much white stripes going under the peck and there will be white stripes going around here around the delta but we're going to put that down in a second because this one is an amped up delt and there's some foreshortening there as I said so there's the white stripe vanishing there and then it's all we go into the fun factor uh, but before that I think we should just give so some fingers put a generic hand give him some uh, give him that thumb right there you could give him gloves because but then he has that gizmo here on the hand I think it's a communicator I'm not sure what it is but he wears that in one of the versions so we'll give him that we'll give him the nails and of course you can do your own details but doesn't exactly go for manicure from what I can tell so some loosely put in details will also do some necklines and here now is the fun part so I'm going to actually do a kind of a hand going in like that so a claw like thing so hooks one two three and four nice meaty hand and I'm going to give him a thumb right there so right right around that I'm putting in some beastly proportions there's the fleshier part of our hand index finger long middle finger finger next to it and of course the smallest finger even in his case and there is one version that I saw in rebirth in which he supported while leaping that hand like a weapon so he can be fully transformed into a beast or I think he can have retained some of the attributes but in this version you've done it or you can make it a straightforward hand and then maybe reflect him in some uh, other preferred animal pose so right now we're done with the sketch the rest of the thing is purely details that I will just put in in terms of uh, tone and fills and with the pencil but he's green 
and so you should check out Teen Titans or Titans uh, different versions let me get that going there into the costume but that's okay so thank you for watching and uh, do, do stay with us as we just finish off the tones and uh, I feel it's just with a pencil.